It's not just a plane, it's a dream come true. Imagine what it looks like traveling to space way too conveniently. You can send cargo, delivery, and even return and disposal services to those living their space dreams in the International Space Station. Thus, NASA was always too big on building such a plane that could make the transporting of things from Earth to space easy. But it was not always possible. They have been trying to build such a holy grail for so long, but lack of resources and especially finding such a mechanism to build a space plane wasn't that easy. But finally, Sierra has made this dream come true for NASA. Meet Tenacity. It's not an ordinary vehicle, but a dream, a vision that was in the queue for so long. And now the Sierra Nevada Corporation, SNC, has marked a remarkable achievement in the history of science as they just unveiled the next era of space exploration with its revolutionary fleet of Dream Chasers. Dream Chaser is the first ever winged, shared commercial space plane that is opening new ways for international collaboration between space and humankind. Can you believe it? I mean, it's acknowledged that this space plane idea may sound hypothetical, but no, it's true. No one in the 1900s could ever think of such a plane's existence. But look at where the world is heading. We're witnessing the things the past generations could not even imagine. This multi-mission and multi-capable space plane is meticulously designed to transport crew and cargo to low Earth orbit, LEO, and can be customized for both domestic and international customers for global operations. It can be easily deployed for various missions, including cargo resupply, satellite deployment, and potential crewed missions. The Sierra Nevada Corporation has invested significant resources in the development and testing of the Dream Chaser. The announcement was made on the 2nd of November that construction had wrapped up on its first Dream Chaser vehicle named Tenacity. The space plane is now set to be shipped to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio for environmental testing in the coming weeks. Today, we have arrived at a profound milestone in both our company's journey and our industry's future, one that has been years in the making and is shaped by audacious dreaming and tenacious doing. Sierra Space CEO Tom Weiss said in a company statement on Thursday, the Dream Chaser is not just a product, it's a testament to the human spirit, determination, and the relentless pursuit of what lies beyond. Sierra Space Agency has basically signed a contract with NASA to launch robotic resupply missions to the International Space Station ISS with Dream Chaser. Tenacity is going to be the first of the company's space planes to fly to the orbiting lab, and it may do so soon. The vehicle could launch on a test flight to the orbiting lab as early as April 2024. That mission is all set to launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan Centaur rocket and will likely be concluded with a landing at NASA's historic Shuttle Space Center, which is part of the Kennedy Space Center. Now, you may be thinking Tenacity's functional abilities might affect its exterior design or its capabilities could hinder its aesthetics, but in no freaking way is this true. The Dream Chaser's design is a blend of aesthetics and functionality, not to mention endurance according to Sierra Space. A significant engineering feat is that the craft can remain cool to the touch minutes after landing while enduring re-entry temperatures over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The company also widely flexes about Dream Chaser's autonomous flight system that's designed for a minimum of 15 space missions. Like, you won't be hearing any frequent maintenance issues that the prior spacecraft used to have that have also led them to failure. This spacecraft also features way too convenient sustainable propulsion and oxidizer fuel systems that should help mitigate the environmental cost of its operations as well. Despite these factors, Tenacity's initial launching will feature seven ISS cargo missions, and if it is successful, this would be the most noteworthy hallmark in the history of science the world would ever witness. Dream Chaser will also help to return experiments and other hardware to Earth from the orbiting lab. However, if we're discussing this, it is also worth mentioning that SpaceX also once came up with such a holy grail. Consider it as a twin machine of tenacity with a little less functionality. 
The Cargo Dragon, also known as Dragon 1, was the initial version of the Dragon spacecraft designed for cargo resupply missions to the International Space Station ISS. It was the first ever commercially built and successfully recovered spacecraft from orbit and played a crucial role in NASA's commercial resupply service, CRS program, delivering supplies, experiments, and equipment to the ISS. However, despite its remarkable beginning, the Cargo Dragon was not designed to carry astronauts and was replaced by an upgraded version, the Cargo Dragon 2. Later on, there was a Crew Dragon as well by SpaceX, and that is known as an upgraded version of the spacecraft designed to transport astronauts to and from space. It features a sleeker design, advanced systems, and enhanced safety features for human spaceflight. This Crew Dragon is launched atop SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and is capable of carrying up to seven astronauts. However, both versions of SpaceX's spacecraft are reusable and can be easily refurbished and flown on various missions. Nevertheless, despite being a pioneer in space planes, SpaceX faced huge setbacks and delays in the development of various components, but these errors are pretty understandable. Coming back to the Dream Chaser space plane, this holy grail is known to claim that it can deliver US military cargo within three hours. It may sound hypothetical to you, but it's the freaking truth. Sierra Space has signed an agreement with the US Department of Defense DoD Transportation Command for point-to-point -point space shipments within three hours. A Sierra Space official in an 8th of September statement said that the Early Stage Cooperative Research and Development Agreement CRADA, provides unique capabilities for precise, cost-effective, and timely global delivery of DoD logistics and personnel. Both parties will collaboratively explore space transportation as a new mode of point-to-point -point global terrestrial delivery of material and personnel as an alternative and complement to traditional air, land, and surface modes for global supply chains. The US military is pretty amused and has even contracted several agreements in recent months for future point-to-point -point transportation needs, including a Crado with a rocket lab to use its electron booster and a $102 million contract with SpaceX for rocket deliveries of human cargo and, of course, humanitarian equipment. Crada's even allows for several agencies to collaborate with private companies by providing support like facilities, equipment, and expertise without direct funding. Sierra Space Agreement even allows them to develop logistics delivery for responding quickly to threats in challenging environments or providing humanitarian relief to areas in need. There have even been a number of test flights of the Dream Chaser spacecraft as Sierra Space targets NASA as one of its customers for International Space Station resupply missions. The United States military has been way too big on high-speed space deliveries for at least three years, while overcoming all the key points like weight, volume, and restrictions in launch operations and recovery. According to a U.S. Air Force USAF release from October 2020, the USAF official even stated that, as the industry advances to overcome these challenges, as well as increase its pace of launches to decrease costs, a space transportation capability to put a crucial cargo quickly on target at considerable distances makes it an attractive alternative. The Holy Grail Tenacity first DC-100 space plane will provide a minimum of seven cargo missions, and this won't only include heavy machinery or technological supplies to space, but also basic needs like water, food, and whatever else is necessary to maintain a living being out there. It has also been claimed that it's able to return critical cargo supplied back to Earth in less than 1.5 Gs and offers flexibility with compatible commercial runways worldwide. Its highly customizable design functionalities make it ideal for a range of applications, providing fast turnaround times to support a variety of LEO needs. And the fleet is just a trailer of what's coming next. It's literally opening the way for some of the most mysterious chapters of space exploration the world didn't know about. And this time, not only NASA, but a lot of other space agencies are coming forward to make their dreams a reality and to contribute to this advanced technological era.
So with that, it's the end of our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and comment below with your opinion on space planes and how it would be revolutionizing for our future.